from this to this. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, a video that's a little bit different again today. So, you guys who follow this channel will know that I was lucky enough to be donated a second DB01 Durga. Shout out to Philip in the UK. Um, now, I didn't really want this car at the time, but um, it had some fancy alloy hop-ups underneath that I wanted for my DB01. Um, but then I was kind of thinking, okay, you can use that, but then what are you going to do with the rest of the car? Um, so I was kind of thinking about it as it was on its way to me. Because um, this is completely standard DB01 now. And I was looking, when I got it, I was looking at the body shell and I was thinking, maybe this would make a good project to finally test out the Tamiya paint remover and see if we can get the paint off the full shell. Um, Respray it. I've got a really cool Tamiya colour in mind. It's like an aluminous um, lime colour, but apparently when you back it with white, it really pops. I have got a brand new Tamiya Racing Wing for my type uh, TRF 503 that's not needed because I've got a new wing for that because this wing is battered. So I was kind of humming and harring what I'm going to do. So we don't need the, this car anymore. But the shell itself is in really good condition. Um, there's no splits, it's absolutely solid. Now I actually thought the black was decals. I never really looked at it. I just thought it all been painted in um, this orange color. But on a closer inspection, all these black lines are actually being painted on. So it's, it's had a really cool paint job, to be honest. It just needs kind of tidying up. But nevertheless, um, I really want to try this stuff out. So, it's a bit of a minefield when you start stripping paint out of shells. There's certain products that I've been told work and some that don't. I've only ever used Tamiya Polycarbonate Cleaner. This stuff is golden. Uh, I've never heard a bad word about it. It's called Polycarbonate Body Cleaner, but if you keep rubbing, then it takes the paint off. It doesn't leave any clouding and from in my experience and what I've seen, it doesn't make the shells brittle and crack and that's even on original old shells. Um, you might you might have had a different experience with it, I don't know, leave that in comments, but I absolutely love this stuff, I have to say. But you get, I think it's a 50 mil bottle, 40 mil bottle, that costs about nine pounds and it's only available from uh, Asia. Um, I think the majority of this stuff comes from China. There's no one in Europe who stocks it and I think it's down to the chemical inside it because I was asking at a local hobby store and um, you know this substance could be banned in Europe or whatever I don't know not that it's dangerous it just we don't want to supply it so it's really difficult to get hold of especially now where we're still in the pandemic you know so I jumped on eBay last night to have a look because normally I'll get a bottle of this for a, all in all we're shipping about a tenner um, I jumped on last night and these bottles are just still roughly between eight and ten pounds but they want like 15 to 20 pounds for shipping so it's just not worth buying and as I say you only get 40 mil that on that shell would probably not be enough to do that shell because when you get into stripping shells you use a lot of this stuff so um, that's where this stuff comes in now this is just called Tamiya paint remover now this is 250 milliliters now I have to say straight off the bat this is not the same chemical as this. Now, going all over the place here, I, I always use this on polycarbonate. I've also used this on ABS wings and stuff to take paint off and it's worked great. This one's got a big warning sign saying do not use on ABS. So it's polycarbonate and Lexan only. So, there's there's other things about. There's Carson, Carson Painkiller, which people rave about. Um, and a lot of other people say to use nitro fuel and brake fluid. I've never done it. It's those two products I would never use. I've, and again, I could be talking out my bottom, but from what I've seen, if you use nitro fuel or um, brake fluid, yes, it'll take the paint off, but it's what you're left with. If, if once the paint's off, if it leaves the polycarbonate cloudy, you can't fix that, it's gone. So, this is all I'm willing to try. Now I have to say straight off the bat, when you're, taking, when you're stripping a full shell, there's a risk with it. There's no guarantees it's gonna work. Um, I posted this on the Facebook group um, last night 
and I got a bit of feedback basically saying uh, from um, Chris shout out to Chris he was saying he'd done it on his Avanti 2001 shell yes it takes the paint off and it's it's long-winded as well to do but it made the shell very brittle and um, it cracked so you know if, if that's how it's gonna be it's not worth taking the risk on a vintage shell I think there's a lot of things that come into play I think whatever it's been painted in is mega important I think the age of the polycarbon at Lexan is very important as well um, if all those things don't align then you might not be able to do the project you want. So as I say, there's absolutely no guarantees with it. So as I say, we're gonna crack on with this. Can't afford to use that. I've got about half a jar left of that. So that gets put back on the shelf for, uh, for bits where I really need it. Um, but as I say, we've got plenty of this stuff. So this thing is gonna take, well, I'm guessing it's gonna take a long time to do. What I've done is, on the bottle, I've marked a black line, because what, what I want to do in this video, I want to see how much it takes to do this full shell, hopefully it won't take the full bottle, um, and I also want um, to see how long it takes me, so I'm obviously going to do it off camera, and I'll just keep coming back, uh, and I'll keep timing, so when I start properly, I'll time it. Um, because if you've ever done this, you'll you'll be watching this knowing it's it's pretty much a mission. You, you, you're constantly putting on a cloth, rubbing hard, it moves the paint around, it makes it sticky. So even though it's taking the paint off, you've got a massive clean up job afterwards. So it's not an easy process. And just on that, I've also seen probably two or three YouTube channels who have started projects and they start with the best intent, best will in the world and off they go, but I've not ever seen them finish it all the way through. And I understand why that is, because I've tried full shells before and it, it can take forever especially when you get into hard to reach areas and you, you, you're having to use cotton buds and things, it is so time consuming. So with all that said, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. I've got a plan for this shell, I've got, I've got a plan for, to put some decals on it that I want, obviously as I say, I've got the wing for it, and I think if I can get this paint off without it cracking, without it um, clouding, and we can repaint it with the some Tamiya decals I've got, I can make this thing look absolutely superb fingers crossed so just before I bring the camera over before I started this video I wanted to make sure that first of all we could get some of this paint off so what I did was I just, just got a little cloth and I um, which one was it I started with the the polycarbonate cleaner just to see if the paint because that's before I bought this um, and that took some paint off then when I got this the other day I thought let's just make sure this is going to work as well so I did that section which is a bit covered by the decal because I've not been lazy not taking it off yet so it's I've got two sections so I know this product will work you can't tell about clouding or anything like that just yet um, and I'm sort of pressing it it doesn't feel any weaker there's, there's no cracks that was done over 48 hours ago um, if I can do this, I didn't realise, but the, the, the black canopy lining is, has been painted um, as well, which is awesome. So I really want to try and leave that on. So I'm going to give myself a lot more work. So once we get the majority off, when I get to the canopy side of it, I've got to be very careful not to remove that black. So the, as I say, there's a fair bit of work in it. What I should say just off the bat, this cost me 23 Canadian dollars um, plus taxes. So let's call it 25 Canadian dollars. So you're paying probably 17, 18 quid for that. But, you know, 17, 18, a tenner for that, and you're getting over five times more. Whether it's as good as not, we don't know. So what I'm gonna do first of all, as I say, because I've started this side, um, I'm gonna bring a camera over, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you close up each product working. Um, because my gut feeling when I did this little bit was this, this stuff took slightly longer to do, and I had to sort of, it seems like it was harder work than that. So I just want to double check that. So what we'll do is, I'm just going to clean this section up, we'll just with um, water, get the dirt off of it, and then we'll use a, the Tammy polycarbonate cleaner just to do a little segment, see how long that takes, and then we'll do the, the opposite side with this stuff. Um, again, just to see if I'm right and if it did take longer. And then as soon as that's done, then I'll set the stopwatch and I'll just start doing bits at a time. I envisage this video is probably gonna take me, well, I've no idea. It's certainly not something you're gonna do in a couple of hours. But as I say, I'll, I'll, we'll time it and we'll see what happens. 
So it really is seat of the pants stuff right now. I'm really hoping that I can get this completely clear, no clouding, get this superb paint colour into it with the decals I have in mind with a new wing and I'll have a second Durga that looks absolutely awesome and I'll also have a spare shell and wing for my Durga which has got the TRF paint job so if I want to run that a little bit harder then you know I can use this one so that's enough babble let's bring the camera over and let's do this little quick te time test to see if there actually is a difference right so before we do that little comparison test uh, I've taken the decals off the shell now um, as I say everything in black now is paint which needs to come off so those are the two areas I did. That was the Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner and that was the paint remover. So at the, this moment in time they look identical. Um, and as I say, they do need cleaning. That sort of way it does look a little bit cloudy. Obviously once the paint's off and you've got all the residue off, then you've got to keep cleaning it with hot soapy water and again going back over it, probably with a cleaner once the paint's off just to get it kind of shiny again. But as I say, whether we'll get to that stage or not is a different matter. So what I'm going to do before I start this properly, we're going to um, do this side. Now I've just cleaned this area and this area up with just some warm water just to get any dirt off. So we'll do a little spot um, with a top, Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner here. We'll see how, that, how long it takes. And then we'll do the same with the paint remover here. That's just for a quick comparison. Once I've done that, then that's the end of the polycarbonate cleaner and it'll be this stuff only. But then what I wanna do, because this is, obviously this is a black, so we know it's gonna take the orange off, but I want to make sure, it, it, it feels, it's a very weird texture this, and it's quite an odd color. I don't think this has been done in PS paint. Not sure, it's not cracking, so it's not. So it's certainly not TS pen. Um, so, as I say, what I want to do after that little comparison test is I want to use a paint remover and see if it'll take the black off. Because if we're going to have an issue with that colour, then it's pointless going any further. And then if that all goes to plan, then it's just a case of probably going back to these sections and we'll just get both sides done. Probably do the first one with the method I'm going to use now, which is just putting a bit on a cloth at the time and rub and we'll get all that done and then on this when we come to this side I'll, I'll try the soaking method where I'll just move more maybe with a little brush we'll paint it on and let it soak for a little while and see if there's any mileage in doing it that way I've, tr I've tried all these techniques before again there's no guarantees just because you soak it doesn't mean it's going to be any easier but um, we'll try both methods and see what happens right let's get cracking right guys let's give this Tammy Apollo Carbonate Cleaner at a go first. Another tip with this guys is it evaporates very quickly so I always put the lid back on it. Right we'll do this section here so as you can see it cleans the dirt off instantly. But you kind of got to keep, keep at it. It's funny I think it's been backed with white Oh god, it's never ending. Right, I think that's good enough for now. I'll just use the other side of that. Because it goes very sticky. So, that's what we've got with the polycarbonate cleaner. Now, just I'll just add to that very slightly by just turning that round so you can just see. Because that looks a little bit of a mess at the moment. But if I just put a little bit on there, lid back on. And you can just sort of clean this bit up like that. As you can see, I took a lot more paint off. So that's Tammy Polycarbonate Cleaner, and that wasn't a big mission. Right, guys, Tammy Paint Remover time. Let's get this covered. So I'm guessing this will evaporate just as much as the other stuff. So let's pick this bit here. We don't need to do. So you see how it takes the dirt off and takes it down to what looks to be white paint. Try to do it in the same movement that I did before. Yeah, they, this stuff, although it's doing it, it is not nearly as good as the Tamiya polycarbonate. Yeah, this is going to take a lot longer. As you can see, we've only just got down to the orange, so let's just turn that inside out. This is what, I'm, this is what I was saying earlier, guys. This is a long process. Oops, let's get a bit more on. You can 
so you know what I'm doing for the next three days, don't you? Oh, God. Right. Tommy Polycarbonate Cleaner, Pain Remover. So we know we're going to get it off. So just what we'll do now is we'll just continue and just try this black to make sure we're going to be okay. Right guys, so there's black underneath here. Let's just see what we can do. No idea what's going to happen here. So I'll strip with all the dirt and it's backed in white still. And you can see the black starting to come through. word let's just fold that over obviously I'm trying to rush this because we're on video um, and I'm not properly set up how I would like to be when I'm gonna do this properly off camera I'll try this one out. right we're down to the black I'm gonna start taking the black off See that coming off. Let's just do another quick bit of fresh cloth. I just want to make sure that this is definitely going to work. Oops. Right. Yeah, you see that working now. Oh my word. Right, so that's what happens and that's what we've got. You can see what it's doing. Now obviously I, could, I, sh I should really clear that up. Maybe the other side of the cloth will help. I think the cat wants to get involved, it sounds of it. Yeah, it's cleaned it up a little bit now. So we know we're good to go with the paint. It is going to come off. But as you can tell from that short video, it's going to take a while. So I'll start off camera, as I say. I'll set the stopwatch up and we'll see how long it takes. Right, that's 35 minutes into it and I've give it a break now and I've washed it off in hot soapy water because someone just, as I said earlier, these things have cracked in the past but someone's just posted a picture of a TBG shell vidded Thundershock. Now that's brand new plastic and thick as well and uh, he did that shell and three days later um, loads of little cracks appeared on here so that would be a bit of a disaster if that happens but i think he said he put that down to not washing the solution off so as i say i've got that far um it's not perfect but you don't get it perfect until the end um but as you can see i've, I've got a fair bit off in that 35 minutes obviously there was some of it done that you saw earlier but i think when i come back we'll just concentrate on getting this stuff all off so basically the front half of the shell will be done but I'll leave cotton buds and things like that to get into again you know it may well split and obviously as you can probably see I balls up the black line which I wanted to keep which I'm a bit gutted about um, it's pretty difficult to um, watch what you're doing because you're just scrubbing that hard but on the clean bits like here for example it's, um, it's pretty clear and at the moment it's not cloudy so um, yeah that's a that's a decent start so we'll we'll pick it up again at some point when my fingers are not throbbing and we'll go again right guys that's about an hour and 40 minutes into it on and off i've just been keeping a stopwatch going as i go as you can see the majority of the paint is off now but it's obviously very cloudy and dirty but i've not i'm not purposely gone over to clean it yet i'm just trying to get the last of the remainder of the paint off um i don't know if i said this earlier but i changed from using like kitchen roll which works to this kind of cloth which has got a little bit of it's a little bit more aggressive without scratching but the best success I'm seem to be having is these cotton buds um, you don't call them whatever you call them I call them cotton buds but um, yeah pe place a layer of the paint remover over it and kind of let it soak in but you can still work it. you don't have to wait for it to soak in uh, and that certainly seems to do the trick so I've just washed I've just taken a large area of this off so I've just washed it again in hot soapy water um, so that residue is just water that's on it. So I'm going to get cracking again and remove that last piece of paint um, And then I'm going to have a sort of a clean-up process just to see if I can get it clean I'll wash it again and then I'll come back and show you it like that because I've got a feeling we'll have to use The Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner for the final finish Before we get it down for paint 
But uh, yeah, so far so good. Right, so been on this a while. I've been on. I've got. I've had the paint out for ages, but trying to get the thing clean is a nightmare. And obviously, because there's no protective film on it and what have you, it marks up on the outside, and it's it's you always you kind of don't know if the marks are on the in or the outside. So it's a bit of a mission. It's very time consuming. So I've I've, I've used hot soapy water numerous times. I've used alcohol swabs to help clean. I've used Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner. And that's the best I've got it so far. Now that's just come out of the water again, the hot soapy water. Um, but that's the best I've had it so far. So what I'm gonna what I plan to do now is I'm just gonna let that dry overnight, um, and then we'll inspect it in the morning to make sure there's no nasty cracks appeared. Um, but so far so good. Um, and then we can kind of go over it with a fine tooth comb, tooth comb tomorrow. And, and it, it's just little things like that, I don't know if it'll come up on camera, see that little black piece of black on that hole, things like that need to come out, but, and there look, right in that corner, there's a little bit of orange left, which I'll just get a knife blade in, but I'll, as I say, I'm just going to let it harden now, um, harden, I don't know if that's the right word, but dry and see if, the, if there is a chemical reaction, but uh, yeah, all in all, that's not been too bad. Right, so it's the morning after, and... As I say, so far so good. Um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to get the Tamiya polycarbonate clean. I'm going to clean the full outside of the shell and make sure there's no marks on it. Um, once I've done that, I'll do exactly the same on the inside. Um, and then I'll put some alcohol swabs on the inside and then that'll be ready for painting. And then if all that goes to plan, obviously I've just got a mask around the edges because there's no protective film on it. Um, I've dug the TRF racing wing out, which is the correct one for this Durga model as well. This was in my 503 kit. So I need to cut that into the right shape. That's easy to spray. Now, as I said, I'm planning on doing PS27, which is fluorescent yellow. And apparently when that's backed with PS1, it looks absolutely amazing, really pops. So that's quite dead straightforward, apart from, obviously we can spray the full shell and then back it in white, no worries. But it's difficult to back the wing because obviously we'll spray it on the outside, the, the wing sides and then the underneath. So I'm debating whether once I've got it sprayed then I, I back it in white and then just give it a blast over in PS27 over the white so it kind of looks the same colour. Because um, if I don't back it with white the wing could be a different colour from the shell and obviously we don't want that. So now I'm getting sort of in the position to spray I've dug my decals out because as I say I want this just to look like a racing car I don't want it to look like a Durga box art but we're in a different colour with all the standard Durga decals on so what I'm going to do I'm going for less is more on this one so the idea I have is I'm definitely going to use the, the canopy cover because it's got a nice sort of goes black into silver um, outline if that blue doesn't work then what I'll do is and this is a crude method I know but if the blue doesn't suit the yellow I'll go over that blue in in um, marker pen just to make it black obviously I'll keep the silver so we'll, that's the suck it and see at the end we'll see how it looks um, and I'm also going to use just these two fins it has here which goes on just this bit of the shell now I have to use those because this one's had holes put in it to obviously cool the motor and the speedo so I'm just going to cover those in black um, TRF wise the main wing because it's going to be one colour I'm going for that full decal now on the sides what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for one of these Tamiya's and one of these TRF's so it'll be on the each it'll be on the side of the wing roughly like that I'll put that at the either side and I think that'll look cool now because of the the Durga saw it hasn't got much depth at this stage um, I had these left over but these are actually too wide so I am going to have to go into this sheet and I'm going to use these two because these fit perfectly like these are on my other Durga so I'll use those two and then everything that's left for that one is going to be on my TRF 503 um, and that just leaves me with these because I'm also got an, an egress shell coming that's sort of got a race paint job on it it's got some nice sort of chrome silver on it so on the egress I'll use those two on the sides that one on the wing and I'll also do the same for the wing sides because I found these 
so I'll probably put the Tamiya and then the black TRF underneath the wing sides so yeah that's the plan so as I say let's get this cleaned up and then we'll get it masked off right it's the point of no return so it's ready to paint so interestingly I've cut the wing out as to the Durga uh, and masked off that back bit that stays transparent transparent I put the holes in um, now yeah the protective film on this wing is on the outside so on the Durga instructions it just tells you to spray on the inside so that's easy enough but obviously that means you can't back it um, so I am just going to take a flyer um, I think with the amount of decals that's going on the wing if the colour is very different hopefully you won't notice it as much Although while I'm speaking, I am just debating whether you should do... No, 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 too much hassle. So we're just going to spray that on the inside. So that's that's had the alcohol wipes on it, so that's good to go. And then the shell, I've just cleaned it for the last time with alcohol wipes. I've, uh, I've sealed all the outside holes up and mashed around the edges as best I can. We will get some paint on the outside, but um, I'll just whiz that off with the... Tammy polycarbonate cleaner. There is a few marks on this shell that keep popping up and I, I'm scrubbing them and I can't get them off so yeah I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out so um, yeah next up is very light coat of PS27 and then we'll just build it up gently and then once it's dry we'll back it with um, PS what is it PS1 white so I'll come back when all that's done. Fingers crossed Right, that's the paint on, I've taken the protective film off the wing and obviously as I say we can't back this, um, the line's good on the back um, but as you'll see to the shell with that backed in white you can probably see it already, it's not nearly as bright but that's, I'm not overly bothered about that because I was very close to leaving it transparent anyway and just putting the decals on so I'm not overly bothered, um, so as I say we backed the shell in white um, it's quite a popping colour, quite like it. Now, here's a thing that I couldn't see when I was doing it. So the guy's lines <laughs> where he painted. Could not see that once I'd taken the paint off at all. So obviously when I sprayed it, it was too late. So it does actually look kind of cool. It's kind of almost like some sort of thin graphic lines. This big canopy one will get covered by the decal. But these will always be on show, and this, I don't know about this front end here. I'm going to have to see how that looks once the decal's on. But um, yeah, all in all, it's it's not too bad. You get the gist of how it's going to look. But obviously, we won't know until the decals are on. But I mean, I'm saying to myself now, well, it's better than it was in orange, because I'm not a lover of orange. And if I just do this very quickly you'll get the impression straight away just with the canopy on it's going to look so much better anyway um, so I've cut all the decals out that's all I'm using hopefully unless it looks a dog um, but yeah so that's the main wing there the wing and there the wing so that's all I'm going for so that's the two sides there are two sides that's for the main bit that's for the side of the car, we saw the canopy, that's to go on here, this bit here, uh, and these black covers will cover up these fins and it'll cover up those holes. So I'll let it dry for a little bit longer and then we'll stick the decals on and see how it looks. Right, that's the finished product, so that's the wing, I'm pretty happy with that, that's, that decal's gone on well, there's a, there's a fold there, which um, as I say it's gone on pretty well. That's what I've done on the sides, which again I like, and I do like the transparent just transparent bar at the back. That looks pretty cool. Main shell, as I say, very simple, less is more kind of thing. Um, I really like the colour. I really do. Um, so far as well, I think we're like, this is third day, and uh, there's no cracks whatsoever. The shell's still solid. So I've got to be happy with that. Let's bang it on the car, see how it looks. Boom! I'm really liking that. Uh, uh, that works for me. That's awesome. Um, it's it's very kind of old school looking race buggy. It's a little bit sort of retro in the colours and the basic stickering. I, I really like that. That that to me that kind of looks like a little race buggy. Just add your uh, your race number decals on. 
yeah I'm very happy with that it's um, it's kind of in your face and I really like it I really do stick in comments guys what you think but I'm uh, I'm really liking that well I've got to be really happy with that um, yeah I'm, I'm really happy with that turned out it's I've achieved what I want I finally done a, a start to finish full paint strip of the shell um, I want to put a disclaimer out there straight away before we just talk about this um, this me on this channel I, I don't review things I don't tell you guys what you should and shouldn't do and what you can and can't use I've never done on the, that on this channel so with all that said I'm not saying for you guys to go out and buy this stuff and start stripping your shells because as I keep saying there is no guarantee but it's going to work Yes, this stuff and and other products, there's plenty of stuff that'll take the paint off, but it's what you're left with. If it's going to get, if it's going to go cloudy, even worse, if it's going to go brittle and start cracking, absolutely just not worth doing. So again, don't watch this video and go, I'm going to go strip my original 8.8 Avanti shell with this stuff. I would, you know, you've got to make your own decisions knowing that there's definitely no guarantee. With that said, I'm very, I'm extremely happy with how this one's turned out. I would just say this is probably one of the easiest shaped shells you can do. It's the plastic's reasonably modern. There's the folds and contours, the shape of it are very easy to get into. Um, but I think it's very important to to say, just remember how many times I actually soaked this in hot water. I would say between every 20 to 25 minutes, it was bathed in hot soapy water and cleaned out both front and back and then start again and then just keep repeating that process whether that had anything to do with this working out so well i don't know um but all i can say is this one definitely worked regarding this stuff it's a little bit harder to get the paint off than the tamia, tamia polycarbonate cleaner but as i said i marked the container it's the, this full shell has been done and it's used 10 mil from the full line that's all I've got a shed load of this stuff left so that's awesome um, time wise this video has been done over three days but in actual sort of hardcore physical time that shell took three hours to get the paint out thereabouts two and a half to three hours to get the paint out but I would add on about an hour to an hour and a half to get it clean, keep bathing it, keep getting little bits off and get the residue off. That took nearly as long, but that's that's like the most, well, probably the most crucial part before you can sort of put new paint on. So with all that said, that's definitely a success. Be interesting to see in the comments what you guys think to that. But um, I've, I've, I've achieved the two things I wanted to do. One was do a, a two stripper shell from start to finish tick tack box and secondly now I've now got a, in my opinion a cool um, shell and wing that's spare for my DBO1 runner where I don't have to damage the TRF um, professional paint job I can run this one hard I mean not too bothered if it flips over or whatever um, but as I say I've got to say I think it looks absolutely stunning and it's got to me it's got that retro race car look um, from kind of early 2000 onwards where everyone were going with luminous colours so yeah, yeah, that's a success. That's definitely a success. So I'll end that video here, guys. So thanks as always for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. If you do that, if you could smash that notification bell for our weekly videos, that'd be awesome. And as always, guys, happy seeing.